Hi, this is Jamie from Tales from the Coop Keeper. I wanted to show you the process of getting the honey out of the frame into the jar. It's the first time I've done this, so I'm not really sure I'm doing it the right way. I'm going to use the crush and strain method. Just because I only have 10 uh, frames of honey, I don't personally own a honey extractor, and I didn't want to drive all the way to the bee club to get one. Um, so I'm just going to do it this way. This is my very first jar of honey that I just bottled up. I cannot tell you what this jar of honey represents to me. I've been wanting to keep bees for 23, 22 or 23 years now. And I, this to me is so symbolic of, of reaching your dreams, of reaching your goals. And you have no idea. I've never tasted honey like this ever. And Aaron, I can't seem to keep Aaron out of it. He's eating it like crazy. It's, it's unbelievable. It tastes so good. Um, what I'm going to do is just to crush this capped honey off of here. One of the reasons you don't want to do it this way is because you want to save this honeycomb that the bees have already drawn out and let them go ahead and start using it again right away. It gives them a head start instead of them having to build all this comb up again. But like I said, for me, a small-time hobby beekeeper, I think it's going to be fine. Um, I'm just too anxious to get my honey. So, I don't know if you can see this. I have plastic foundation on here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, my gosh. I just don't know how. Oh, this is so cool. I can barely stand myself. Um, I'm scraping it right down to the foundation. And I'm also going to end up with a lot of beeswax in this process. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Um, which is going to be fun too because I could do some different things. Maybe make some chapsticks or candles or something like that with the beeswax that I'm going to get. Oh my lord. This is just too cool for words. So now I have the other side of the frame to do. <laughs> I wish you could smell this. This is like ridiculous. Oh my heavens. This is so cool. If you've ever considered getting bees, just do it. Just get them and then figure it all out later. <laughs> like that's how I did it. I just got the bees and I just learned as I went. And I made mistakes, but that's how you learn. And a lot of you I know are like so terrified of the bees and I totally understand that too. But um, if you don't keep your own bees, I just really encourage you to get your, get your honey locally, get your honey from a local beekeeper. The honey you get in the store, I'm not even sure that it's really honey. Okay. Hi, Blanco. Um, what we're going to do she now... She cut out. I thought she was going to have me look at her car and she just left. Well, she had to go. Um, we're videotaping now, FYI. So anyhow, what I'm going to do now is just to take this honey and get it right into here. And then it's just going to drip. I'm just going to let it drip. I'm not heating this honey or anything. It's going to take a few hours to drip out of this wax. And that's how I'm doing it this year. I know I'll get another, a fall crop of honey and maybe I'll have so much then and maybe by then I'll have bought myself a small extractor. But this is the crush and strain method. And for me, for right now, I think it works out just fine. All right, and there you have it. I'm going to let this sit and drain in my fancy red pot. You can see it starting to pour out. Well, it's not really pouring. You can see it dripping out now. I can hasten the process by smashing it through here. And once I get all this honey drained through here, I'm just going to bottle it up, and it's going to be good to go. All right, thanks, you guys. I'll keep you um, posted on how many jars I end up getting out of my first super full of honey. Thanks. Bye.